some members have proposed that this hall, which has always been a private gathering place for the descendants of the first settlers of the village, be opened as a public museum, and an admission is to be charged. The proposition is an outrage. Please, Mr. Crossman. An outrage, I say. Thou art violating the very laws passed down to us by our founder, Sir Roger Mathis. Somebody go into the next room and fetch the original ruling written in Sir Roger's own hand. You go, Harvey. Yes, sir. Shall I, I shall read to thee his document, and ye shall see. Oh, no, no. What is it, Harvey? In the press, the ancient torture press, there are two bodies. Oh, what? It's Sam and Green Sparrow. They've been crushed to death. There, there's a note in Sam's hand. It looks like a parchment. What does it say? It's an ancient death board signed by Sir Roger Mathis. How was it not the whole thing started, Mr. Cranston? This particular well, that's so gruesome, Lamont. Indeed, Margot. Shut up. The state police haven't covered anything. Nope, they're as baffled as we are. That's why I sent for you. Has the ghost of Sir Roger been seen since? Yes, Miss Lane, many times. There have been others that have died by his hand. How many? Well, three. One was found in the stocks. Another hanging from a tree that was used for just that purpose in the old days. A third was tied to an ancient ducking stool who found him in the river, drowned. Each one was clutching a parchment death mark. Have there been any clues at all, anything that would link these crimes together? Well, everyone who died was in favor of opening the old meeting house to the public. I see. But that only strengthens people's beliefs in the ghost of Sir Roger. They say this is his vengeance for proposing such a move. Uh, aside from the ghost of Sir Roger, who is opposed to the opening of the meeting place? Quite a few have voted that way. Uh, the leader of the faction is old Silas Crossman. 